understanding, have a soft spot for. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English learning series. Today, we're diving into a very heartwarming phrase, have a soft spot for. This phrase is a beautiful way to express feelings and relationships, and understanding it can add depth to your English conversations. Let's explore what it means, how to use it, and see some examples in action. When we say someone has a soft spot for something or someone, it means they have a particular fondness or affection for them. This affection is often sentimental and shows a vulnerability in the person's emotions. It's as if their heart softens when they think about this person, animal, or thing. The important part to remember is that this phrase highlights emotional tenderness or partiality that isn't easily explained by logic. Using have a soft spot for in sentences is quite straightforward. It can be about people, pets, places, or even objects that evoke a sense of warmth and affection in someone's heart. Here are a few examples. Even though he pretends to be tough, he has a soft spot for small puppies. I've always had a soft spot for old-fashioned love songs. She has a soft spot for her hometown, and it shows whenever she talks about it. Notice how the phrase can easily be adapted to past, present, and future tenses, making it versatile for storytelling and expressing feelings. Understanding the context in which have a soft spot for is used is crucial. This phrase often reveals something personal about someone's character or preferences. It can be used affectionately between friends and family or even in a professional setting to highlight a less known side of someone's personality. Recognizing the emotional weight of this phrase helps in both comprehending and using it effectively in conversations. You might encounter, have a soft spot for, in movies, books, or songs, where a character or narrator reveals their affectionate feelings towards someone or something. These examples can provide insight into the nuance of the phrase and how it's used to convey deep emotional connections. It's a wonderful way to see the phrase in action and understand its impact on storytelling and character development. Thank you for joining us to explore the phrase, have a soft spot for. We hope this video has not only helped you understand its meaning and usage but also encouraged you to express your own affections more openly in English. Remember, language is a window to the heart, and phrases like these help us share our inner worlds with others. Keep practicing, and see you in our next video.